Hello everyone, this is Darren with Madcap Toys. We are back in the toy barn. And I've got Kathy over there. You just heard her go off, right? Hi-ho. <laughs> there she is. Her little alarm clock, clocks are ringing. It is about what time today, Kathy? Uh, we're looking at 6.15. We are in the toy barn still working. 6.15 p.m. In between tornado yeah. watches. In between the, the watches, yeah. yeah. So we've got weather going on. It's going on like crazy over here in uh, south central Indiana. Uh, we did have a rather good sales day. We've had some slow ones, guys. And I want to talk to you that before I tell you about all that we've sold today. Our eBay sales have been one, running one to six items a day. The last couple of days, I think we've been gaining on average one to two the last couple. So you can tell they've been working on it. I get it where I take and list my items and all of a sudden I get this broke link to this or a broke link to that. Or, hey, it's not you, it's us, that kind of thing. You know how it goes. Uh, so whatever they're doing is screwing up with my sales bad. But, and this is the title of the video that I want many of you guys to listen to and consider in your mind and maybe for your own game plan as far as selling. Macari, for the first time ever, has outsold eBay. Not by one, not by two, but by what, Kathy? 13? At least. 15? 15 to one, guys. 15 to one. And you gotta think, this is one day. One day. And we've had this running for a while, and Macari's been catching up since they've been doing whatever they've been doing on their site. It seems like they're done. They're getting back into it. I do like a uh, little bit of their new format that's going on. Uh, not so much about the fee thing. I That's a here or there. Somebody's going to pay it. We pay it when we buy a lot of times on the credit card, etc. So you just, you do that all the time. So it's no sense really talking about that. No. But we are concerned about eBay yeah. uh, not providing for us, especially when we're paying them uh, listing fees in essence through the store fee. Plus, we're paying final value fees. We're paying fees on the postage when we ship an item out, in essence. And then you're buying stuff that's sitting around that's not going out because of them. Because a lot of times, you even buy supplies via the eBay store area. Yeah. So, we've got a lot going on. Today, we've had, like I said, what? 18? That's what you said. 18 sales. I want to make sure I got that right. Uh, I've had a sale on eBay, right? Only one. <laughs> A sell, a sell. Now keep in mind, I've been on eBay years, 24 years. What's going on eBay? Get with it. We're getting tired of paying fees to that many years. And uh, we're getting this for a lot of the day. But we've also made one on Poshmark. Hey, now I like making sales on Poshmark as well as anywhere else, but right now Macari's knocked it out because I made 15 of those sales or 16, 15 or 16 of those sales on one site. One site. Wrong. I am wrong. 17 sales because I had an item that had a multi listing also of two, two sales with it. So guys, whatever it is, 16, 17 sales, I'm thankful for all those sales, but you guys might want to consider some of you guys that said, I don't want to list on Macari. You might look into it because I'm going to tell you what, it's up to you. You run your own business, you do your own thing, whatever makes you happy. Uh, but if you're wanting to maximize sales, sometimes you got to do this. This is always our strategy, finger streams mm -hmm. online. And the more we can do it. One time we had 16 various sites we worked with, including one of our own. And we've cut back because, A, I don't always have the staff I used to have. Because with sales doing this and me not having a full-time store right now with Madcap Toys, it's hard to afford the man hours. And now the we, IT. Yeah, and the and IT. IT. And we get, when we need them, we've got some people that we can have for surge. And we can have up to eight or nine people with no problem. They never complain. They're always here and happy to work with us and for us. And uh, to get that extra money, especially during the holiday times. But... You might want to consider as a seller doing a little bit of this because if you're relying on just that one main stream, you're going to be damned up for a while if eBay don't get it together. Kathy, I'm going to turn it over to you, babe. Come over and tell us what we got and let me get out of your way. <laughs> uh, hey, folks, Mac have toys. I bet you were wondering when in the world we were going to get back into the toy barn. And uh, yeah, so in between, uh, you know, weather 
related as you can hear it probably outside the winds of whipping uh we had tornado warnings happen today um and bunches of rain things of that nature so uh lots of things have been happening but i'm glad to be back in the toy barn with you and again spotted like he's been saying spotted sales on uh ebay where we get <laughs> he got a coke a drink and a coke there um so we have spotted sales on ebay where we've had one here two here and let's just be honest in the three-day weekend that darren and i had uh for easter and With happy happy belated easter folks yeah. um we had two sales on ebay okay we had other sales on macari poshmark but two sales and that was ridiculous right when you're paying for a site when you're paying a store fees final value fees all kinds of fees yep. and you're not getting what you're getting that's pretty pathetic and again people can say well is it your stuff no it's not our stuff um every time we list even today i was at the office and in insurance today told darren i said hey guess what i'm on your uh madcap toy store on ebay and it's saying that you've got zero feedbacks when you have like over seven thousand something right it was saying you have that's single feedback zero listing right. active listings when you have over eight thousand listings at home and he was looking at going yeah I, it's fine here it's not there i'm like no things are going on right and you're probably checking that out at, in your um you know business as well so you know like darren said if you have to many people that i know have started a cross list to try to help with that um and it's been working out we've been on macari since 2019 so you're looking at about four more four or five ish years and in four um, years they, yeah they, it's, it's they become the top seller yeah it became the top seller and right now i mean last year it wasn't it was you know it, it was probably the number number two out of the three um, but at least in the last week, it's been the number one, which is really, really yeah. strange. But anyway, um, if you guys have been having that situation, let me know in the comments below. And of course, if you haven't already, subscribe to the Madcap Toys family. We want you to be a part of us. Yes, we do. <laughs> and hit the bell for all notifications because, hey, each and every time we upload content, we want you to be the first to know, okay? And comments, of course, we love them. Keep them now, Kathy, I also put those in those packages so you can take them out and put them right back after you show off the coin. We will try to do that. Um, I'm having some issues with Macari getting it online. I do have uh, Poshmark and eBay. So let's start out with eBay. What shouts we? We shout. Um, of course, you know, coins. We sell, if you don't know, Madcap Toys sells toys. Yep. But we also sell coins. We also sell comics and all of the like palette models, items, etc. Clothing, la la la, right? But uh, in this case, with these sales, we had sold a bunches of coins. So that's what we're mostly going to talk about today. So on eBay, we had sold right here this nice coin. Darren got a bunch of these uh, at a uh, uh, in a lot um, from I a friend. From a coin dealer friend, yes. Yes, he has a coin dealer friend, and got these in these beautiful. I like them. These little circle things are easy to pack and put in and they're safe they're not going to get hurt the coin itself so i'm excited about that this is the 1896 o silver barber half dollar average circulated now i will tell you this if you don't know this about coins because darren and i already do but to find the denomination on the back of a barber half you look at the back and it's always under the tail of the half you probably can't see it. it's probably blurry i know but it's always under the tail so um if it has a denomination you're gonna either find a o a d or an s and be so. sure to look because that can increase your value fantastic yes it will so um it is going this coin the 1896 o barber half is going out to gary hi gary thank you gary and it sold for 31 dollars plus shipping to boot shipping to boot thank you so much gary for that so it's going out to you of course in the am penny that we don't you know we don't do auntie m and wizard of oz and all that tonight right <laughs> just like you guys now we have been sending out orders but guys we've had so many of them that and when i say so many i don't mean all at once don't take that wrong right but each and every day we've been getting them and we've had to get them out pronto so we've not been we able have. to do so videos. you guys haven't been seeing everything that we've been been doing so you're thinking well did you have any sales last week yes but they have been minute to where again we've been suffering with at least in the last three or four days not yeah. weeks okay i don't want you to think that but in the last three or four days it has been super abysmal. super duper quite yeah. abysmal terrible on yeah. ebay um but it has picked up since makari did and you probably saw my video if you haven't go binge watch cook some popcorn um on where as you guys know they said hey guess what starting today no seller fees you know we're good no fees at all 
Hallelujah for sellers, right? Finally. And uh, since that day, Macari has been pretty steady, and that is fantastic for us. And honest with you, the fee uh, mechanism isn't really different than what you will pay if you go to a flea market right? or a pawn shop, etc. There are some businesses that will charge you a fee for using your credit card. That's the same thing. So, Macari's are you doing. saying that in state, if you are a seller having a booth at an antique mall? Or are you saying that as a buyer? I'm saying as a buyer. Correct. Now, okay. There are places, antique malls, flea market, etc., that do charge the seller. But right. a lot of times, if you use a credit card, we've got restaurants that will charge you a fee now in southern central Indiana, a fee for using a credit card. So right, it's exactly. coming everyone's way. Exactly. All right, you're not going to be able to see this um, because you know what? I do what most people do, most YouTuber sellers do. If it comes in a box, and it came from a pallet. If it already had a box, I just slip the top, look into it, go, yep, that's exactly what it is. Write it on here, write the um, the dimensions and the weight, and then store it. And so if somebody goes, I want it, then of course I'm not worried about splitting it. I already know what it is, I already got there. And all I gotta do is put the dimensions and weight, then slap the label and it's going Ready out. Ready to go. So this is a, a pallet item that we had. This is one of the, um, of stoneware oval serving platters that we got from a pallet designed with Jungalo, and we sold it on Poshmark and it sold for $17 and of course you know Poshmark you know keeps the the uh, shipping so average they probably paid $7.97 for shipping but $17 for this platter so um, been trying to move some of the the uh, you probably can't see all the way through here guys but we've Bigger got items, yeah. some uh, bigger items some platters left some cake stands left some things um, in the pallets that we're trying to move as best as we can so we can have more space for our toys and coins we are not dropping the ball on pallets right now for us in our region we're having trouble getting target pallets and that's what reliable pallets reliable yes. pallets that we focus on and for the last three or four months it's not been happening here in our region so and, you know and i told darren i said if it's not going to work for us it's not going to go well madcap toys okay right. even though we buy off the big boys like hasbro mattel etc we also use other means to get things a lot of times to say shipping right that can be a big difference between when you'll see one of my price times at 39 dollars and somebody else's at 25. right if exactly. you if you've got to pay that extra shipping it's got to go somewhere exactly and this is how makari makari is being a little hellion tonight right so um i'm just going to try to go the seller the buyer's name unfortunately now i can't even pull up Macari. Okay. they want verification codes on his phone and everything it's ridiculous so rather than you guys having to wait and go through literal he double hockey sticks we're just going to go with it yeah, anyway yeah. uh two buffalo nickels uh this person uh purchased in 1920 buffalo nickel g4 well you hear that wind wow yeah that's coming ain't it terrible 1926 buffalo nickel also g4 which means good to you folks yeah. um and then i'd say it probably Basic sold for village, about yeah. eight to ten dollars plus yeah, shipping plus so shipping. very very good person's wanting to fill their album so yeah. thank you so much for that if you're we watching appreciate your, your purchase thank you so much and then this is one fell uh one guy he bought two different bundles on mercari excellent this is where all the items come from are these coins and he wasn't done the first time so he went ahead with a second time so he's going to have these in two separate orders darren said between the two bundles it he was a hundred dollar sell he paid about a hundred bucks which isn't too bad for some of these coins i'm going to shout out so here's the first bundle i'm going to rattle them off guys 1986 d uncirculated jeff nickel 1984 p jeff nickel 1977 jeff mint state 65. that'd be a coin to get graded true 1957 jeff gem bu another one 1990 p jefferson uncirculated 1991 d jefferson nickel uncirculated 1976 d jefferson nickel uncirculated Oh, this is a nice one. 1943 D Silver World War II 
emergency nickel this is a key date guys jim bu and this was worth about Again, 20 this was about like know, a fourth of it 25 bucks if, there if you're close to them i would have those cert that one certified or looked at at least and know. finally this really pretty one 1975 jefferson nickel proof 65 right. so this was about 50 bucks right here right. amazing probably album filling or just getting those gems especially that emergency key right now for Why any of you guys that like to do bundles on macari the way to get it done is send like all the items that you like put them together and then send us an offer yes but uh remember we will not do bundles larger than 10 coins right on exactly. macari due to shipping weight. because you're right and be fair on the shipping is. because that that will affect it in the end we may have to cancel ah, if not grab my thank you card sorry all right so the same guy right so we're gonna go continue with the second bundle now this one's a little different have you ever heard of the 40 1943s steel pennies did you know that they made them tell us a little bit about that real quick well the 1943 steel cents the yep. pd and s right were put into circulation i believe it was for one year for one i think one to two years yeah i i, I think or they had a little year. run over in 44 a little, little but run it was over, just basically that one year and why uh, did they make and they did steel? that because we needed the other metals for the war the copper that was taking to, yeah the the war that was taking time and the nickel and what have you so or, that year yeah. they made them all steel yeah so if you see these and it's legitimate and nobody's messed with them you might want to pick these up if you're collecting coins so this indeed is a 1943 s as in as in san diego right nope, san francisco, san francisco yeah. sorry one of the sands anyway <laughs> uh 43 s steel ms 65 which means mint state very beautiful shiny could almost brush your teeth in it coin mm -hmm. so you got one of those and if you say hey do you got any more of those yes check out our ebay macari store we got quite a few of them i actually have like two rows of each of the denominations here's a that. 1939 s jeff Nick nickel uh, about to uncirculated yep. that's a nice one Ooh, sets, very yeah. very lovely here yes. 1970 s jefferson nickel uncirculated beautiful coin very nice these almost aren't album fillers. I would just have them, right? Because they're so nice and shiny and, 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 and very good when it comes to condition. And uh, what on that one, how many years ago is it? That's what's that's what's key to coin collecting. Right. How long when was Earlier what is that coin you're showing that you're gonna show? Uh nineteen thirty eight D. Were you born in nineteen thirty eight D? Probably what's not. The grade? <laughs> um it MS sixty five. Okay, Gem so, B U. Think about it. And again, I Jim haven't cleaned these, but it don't mean no. maybe somebody else hasn't somewhere. There's no way. No. Somebody kept this 38D. Pristine looking. Jemby, you kept it all this time, and it's such a beautiful, beautiful condition. Amazing. 1950, here's another one. 1957D Jefferson Nickel BU. Look how long it took. And look, it's got a little bit of toning, but not very much, but gorgeous. Gorgeous sunset toning in the back and as well. Oh, that Fantastic. can happen because the plastic touches the coin with the air that's in there. Right. And finally, my little era here, 1987D, Jefferson Nickel Uncirculated. Gorgeous. All the same. Just some beautiful coins. And that's yeah, even close to going years. out to Edward yeah. High, Edward, and like, like we Thank said, you. for the two bundles, that's totals to about $100 plus. Yeah. Plus a little bit extra for shipping to boot. And shipping yeah. to boot. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But yeah, so that's basically what we had. So uh, Darren, what, what else have we got here? Well, that would pretty much be it. But like I was saying, and I'm flubbing my words here. Flubbing all the time. Uh, flub, flub, flub. A lot of the stuff you're gonna see, like I said, was mint mark, date specific. That means basically people are looking to A, compare coins graded by different people to see how each person's grading so they can learn to fine tune grades themselves or they may get a coin because they think hey that looks sharp enough to send in to pcgs ngc icgs annex whatever um or they're just basically doing like we know a lot of people do that come to us and fill albums uh but i wanted to to uh, like i said speak to you again because over there so I got bumbled in my words and what have you, but if you're gonna want to make an offer on quantity items on Macari, put it together or ask Kathy to put it together and you can send us an offer or we can send you an offer for the items that you want, but we will not ship more than 10 in one listing uh, because we gotta make sure the weight is centered just right for whatever the post office wants to do with those items depends on weight depends on size hold dimension you guys know what it does and depends on and also uh keep in mind 
the cost of the items and the protection that is given via the cost. If you're gonna buy 10 items that's gonna be 100 to $200 a piece, we're not gonna do that because I'm not gonna sit there and have to charge for insurance on those items to be delivery confirmed and what have you. We do them on basically cheap toys, cheap coins, etc., and so forth. So keep all that stuff in mind because it's for your protection and our protection because we want the items to get to you. And honestly, 99.9% .9 of our customers are very honest, very good people, but you get that one little group every so often that comes by uh, and you know can try to run it for everybody. But guys, it looks like right now, Macari is the way to go Why eBay is floundering a little bit. That doesn't mean eBay won't come back and we hope they do, but this is probably the first week and last week was running pretty close with Macari and eBay sales. Poshmark's still a distant third. Um, they haven't even crawled up to second yet. But uh, eBay and Macari's been doing this back and forth. And uh, when Macari stomps eBay, a site that I'm paying for, it sort of gives me pause for a minute and say, say something's not right. So something's gotta get fixed and it's gotta get fast fix fast because a lot of us are putting out money. I've got a lot of friends out there saying, oh, I'm getting tired of all this and all that. Yeah, it does get old, especially when they're done to me saying, hey, I may have to take X amount of dollars out of your out of your uh, account right. because you know, you're know you not making enough money to pay the bill. Well, whose fault's that? Right. You know, <laughs> If you're not showing my stuff and I go in there and I, I work today, had five or six different breakups of the page saying, oh, this can't be shown. This isn't here. We don't know where you're going. eBay's got an issue, et cetera and so forth. Whose fault is that, guys? But anyway, guys, if you like the video, give us a big old thumbs up. Give us a comment. Tell us some of the experiences you had on eBay, on Macari. Have you seen some issues with eBay as well lately? Or are your sales rocking? Because guys, there are some people that we're talking back and forth with, and I do know them personally. They are doing fine. But then there's times when we're doing great, they're not. They're not. Right. So it, I don't know if there's server issues where they're got different people in different areas on different servers. I don't know how it all works with eBay, how many hubs they have, et cetera, and so forth. But there's areas that's got issues at different times. Uh, just let us know how you're doing. And question, have you yet had, if you've got a Macari, it ain't a store, but I'm gonna use the term. Please uh, don't go off some of you guys as perfectionists. Macari is not a store, it's just a site. We know that. But if you've got Macari listings, and if you're like us, and you call it a store because you have an eBay store and Poshmark and all this. Have you had Macari or Poshmark or any site that you sell on outsell your eBay this year or last year? That's a big question I'd like for a lot of you guys to ask or answer. And I'm going to probably run a poll on that because I've never had that. No. The only site I ever outsold eBay on was Yahoo, Yahoo auctions. auctions. Yep. One day I could count on 101, 121 sales. I've never had things like that from eBay since the beginning. Yes. I've sold thousands of dollars of Morgan dollars and Peace dollars on there. You couldn't tell it if you looked at all my totals because for some reason my totals seem to be all screwed up, but a lot of money, one, one month we've had uh, up to Thirty-seven, forty-seven, fifty-seven dollars in sales, but it's like they go so long, then it all seems to dissolve. At least with us. Right. Um, but anyway, guys, uh, have you seen the same things going on with you, Kathy? Anything else, babe? No, that's no? basically it. All right, well, guys, we're going to end the video. Thank you for watching. Give us your comments, your feedback, and have you noticed uh, your numbers changing or uh, disappearing or? dissolving i don't know what's going on but um let us know what's going on with your items kathy was on our store today again another thing mm -hmm. and it said it doesn't exist so so, like so we said earlier yeah. all right so what's going on tell me know. please what's going on because you're fabulous to so keep on yeah. selling thank all you right? guys take care bye-bye all right. bye -bye,